Welcome to this month's edition of RHS Monthly. I'm Emma Rooks. Auditions for RHS's virtual one-act play, Replacing Linda, will be on Monday, December 7th from 2.30 to 5 p.m. Sign up for a five-minute slot via Sign Up Genius. All of the information you may need is on the RHS Theatre Department Schoology page. Please email Ms. Conkle or Ms. Gothier with any questions you may have. The office will be open throughout distance learning to pick up supplies. Monday through Thursday from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. Several student pictures are available for pickup in the main office. If you had your pictures taken in September or November, pictures have arrived. Please come to the main door, door one, to pick up your pictures. For Chromebook help or replacement, students should contact Jesse in the Chrome Depot at jessica.greenwalt at isd728.org with any questions or to make an appointment. Well, that's it for announcements. Now let's take a look at this week's Featured Segments. Hey, greetings, Rogers Royals. This is Principal Pires checking in with you. I just want to say, hope all of you are healthy and well. We've had a great transition to distance learning, and I want to say thank you uh, to our students out there and to our teachers and staff for making this transition go so smoothly. Uh, remember what I said back uh, a month ago about staying connected? Uh, coming up with consistent routines and the communication piece. Remember, find those ways to stay uh, connected with each other, with, with uh, things happening here in the building. Also the communication piece. If you don't understand something, you don't know what's going on, maybe you need to reach out to somebody, communicate, check in with them, okay? And then consistency, continue to find routines and things that are gonna make you be successful. We know class starts at 8 a.m. And make sure you're checking into all your classes and doing what you need to do. And I want to wish all of you a very, very, very happy holiday season. Hope all of you stay healthy and safe. Again, just want to say thank you for what you're doing. We're all, we're all going to do this. We're all going to get through this. Uh, and just wishing you well. Thank you. ERZ Nordic stands for Elk River Rogers Zimmerman Nordic Skiing. We combine with Elk River and Zimmerman to practice and we compete separately. Where we race 5Ks in two different forms. Skate, which is also known as freestyle and looks like ice skating with poles. And classic, which is also known as traditional and looks like running with poles. The best thing about Nordic skiing is definitely the people. Everyone on this team is so determined and hardworking because it takes a lot of grit to withstand the cold temperatures and long distances and have a positive attitude about it. They make this sport so great. But along with that, we also have the occasional snowball fight and snowman making contests, so we know how to have fun. The best thing about Nordic skiing is definitely got to be all the people that you get to ski with. It... The best thing about Nordic, in my opinion, is that when we, most of the time when we practice, it doesn't always feel like practice because like it just kind of feels like you're hanging out with your friends like because you're just skiing. There's not much to it, so yeah. always looking for new skiers on the team. It doesn't matter if you're great at skiing or if you're a fresh start. Because you'll meet some amazing athletes in this lifelong sport. It's a really great way to stay fit and active during the winter in preparation for your spring sports. And it's actually cheaper than you think it is. All you have to buy in advance is ski boots and wear lots of layers and the school will provide the rest. If you're one of the people that doesn't or is hes hesitating to join because you're not coordinated or clumsy or anything like that. I am not coordinated either. I'm, anyone who knows me can say it's the same thing. I fall all the time. 
but that's just kind of a thing that comes with the sport. You, I mean, you have to fall in order to learn how to ski, but like once you get past that point, it's a lot of fun, so you should join. doing for thanksgiving this year because mine just got canceled and i'm bummed about it yeah mine just got canceled too yeah mine did too yeah me too yeah Sorry. what if we have a friend's thanksgiving though over google meet mm, that's a good idea how is everyone doing good happy thanksgiving how about we say what we're all thankful for i'm thankful to be on this google meet with everyone today I'm thankful that my mom still made me food. Um, I'm thankful that Sam didn't log on. Uh, yeah, so, um, <laughs> what are you guys eating today? Probably some turkey and potatoes. TBH, I'm kind of more of a ham girl. Mm. Anyways, did you guys hear that Harapat wants to kick one of us out of the noose? Wait, what? Who? He doesn't know yet, but honestly, I think it should be Aaron. What? Why me? It's facts, you. As long as it's not me. Honestly, it should be you, Caroline. Ooh. Calm down, guys. I'm sure that he's not kicking any of us out. I can't believe Alex and Mal want me out. One of them should be getting kicked. Whoa, whoa, what do you mean me? Yeah, you guys suck. Yeah, you guys hey, I do so much work in this class. You have no idea. What are you guys doing? Oh you don't understand how much work. Hey, guys. How's it going? Oh. Where'd they all go? Hi, today we're interviewing John, and my first question is, what's your favorite trick to do? My favorite trick to do is called a horizontal finger spin, and it's just where the yo-yo is spinning on my finger. What's the hardest trick you can do? The hardest trick I can do is just any horizontal trick, which is where the yo-yo is on its side instead of vertical, and... It's the hardest trick because it's really dangerous to me and everyone watching. Do you have a favorite yo-yo? I do. It is one that I won at a competition in sixth grade, and it's my favorite because it's worth the most, and it's $135. All right, I got a question for you now. Go for it. When were you crowned as the king of yo-yo? I was crowned as the king of yo-yo after the sixth grade talent show. <laughs>
Ah, Thanksgiving, a time where functional families gather together. Oh, not this one. Nope, not this one either. Like this family, where people create wonderful meals and enjoy them together. But may we not forget our wonderful, unique, very special family members. Like your crazy grandma who just figured out how to use the emojis on her phone. Hey honey, why haven't you called me and grandpa lately? You are our favorite grandchild but talk with on the phone. Thank you. And you can't forget about your crazy rambunctious younger cousin. Potatoes? Or that evil, annoying baby who always seems to need a diaper change. Wah, I need a diaper change. <laughs> <laughs> um, where did that diaper come from? Or from your grandpa who you love dearly, but yet he always seems to judge you. Sally, I haven't seen you in forever. It's good to see you. Yeah, Grandpa, I haven't seen you in, like, forever, too. It's good to see you, too. Why did you get those jeans half off with all the rips in them? I could practically make those myself. Yeah, they're ripped jeans. I know I paid full price for them, though. Oh, and that uncle that finally showed up to a family event. Thanks, son. You grew since the last time I saw you. I am 23 now. Uh, what, I mean, like, what is it, like, 18 or, or whatever 23-year-olds like to do nowadays? I mean, I dibble and dabble a little bit of this, a little bit of that, but I like to ball with my bros. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, son, I'm picking up while you're laying down. You know? Yeah. I like to ball with my bros, too. Hello everybody. I hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving. Here are some Thanksgiving polls. The first question is, do you eat ham or turkey? Mm, definitely turkey, but gotta have the cranberry sauce. Neither because I'm a vegetarian. Ham. Turkey. Ham. 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 Would you rather have sweet potatoes or mashed potatoes? Yams, which are mistaken for sweet potatoes, fun fact. Mashed potatoes. Sweet potatoes. Mashed. Mashed potatoes. Mm. Probably mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes. Do you watch the parade or do you watch football? Um, football. Look forward to watching the Lions lose. Parade. Football. 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 Raider football. Football, 10 out of 10. Football. Do you eat Thanksgiving lunch or Thanksgiving dinner? Thanksgiving lunch and then eat the leftovers for dinner. Thanksgiving dinner. And lunch. Dinner. Uh, we do Thanksgiving lunch. Thanksgiving dinner. Thanksgiving lunch. And finally, do you host or do you travel? Travel, because then you don't have to cook all the food. Host. 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 Travel. Well, definitely travel. Hope. Host.
for this month. Thanks for watching.